Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to my channel, Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for March 25th and 26th, Monday, Tuesday, for my Aries. Happy birthday, Aries. Yep, I still say it. Okay, short reading. So this is going to be just my Doreen Virtue Angel Tarot cards. I have prayed, meditated, and infused with Reiki energy. And this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate with you. Take what you like, leave the rest. Okay, so my Aries, let's see what's going on in your birthday month. I hope things are really going good for you. I hope things that the fire of this new astrological year is just giving you wonderful, wonderful blessings. That's you know that the universe is giving back to you. Now, you know, we have the Libra full moon. That energy still of balance continues until uh, you know April when we have the other Libra full moon. Um, you know, remember that. And I actually think you're going to be more objective about this than, than any of my my other signs that you know we've been talking about. I think that you're going to be actually be able to recognize what needs to be put into balance and when those situations or people are out of balance, okay? And I think you're actually going to be able to handle it quite well. Now, we still have Mercury retrograde for a couple more days. And, you know, remember when it goes retrograde, and they say it's an optical illusion that looks like it's going retrograde, but when it goes retrograde, it does not just jump back to where it started. So it's here, and then it starts to slowly go back direct. So that's going to be, so if you've been having some things going on, expect that type of energy to continue. So whatever it was in the last couple of, you know, in the last, well, two, three weeks, it, it re, kind of revisits that as it goes forward. Okay, let's go on. Okay, you want to come out? Sure. Um, let's go on. We're going to we're going to shuffle a couple more times, and now I'm going to cut. So I hope you are having the most wonderful birthday around, except when it's my birthday. Well, you can still have the most wonderful birthday. Okay, so let's see what we have here. All cards are face down. Here's the first card, the Nine of Water. Oh my gosh. See? Can you see that? This is the wish card. Your wish comes true. Water, of course, is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It's emotional fluidity. It's, it's going to be wonderful. Your wish comes true. Concern fades away. A love of life. So right there. Now, I'm going to hope that this, I'm going to say that this energy is going to carry through all week, but it's especially going to be strong, it's going to be strong on Monday and Tuesday. Now, the other thing, though, is I think we just had the wish card. I don't know. When I do my readings, once it's done, it's like I've delivered my message. I'm not necessarily supposed to remember all the details, but I do feel like you're going to have a very, you're, you're going to see a steady message telling you know you know continuing it's like the energy doesn't like say wish comes true you're despondent wish comes true you're despondent oh you know what i mean it does carry through so many times over you can see the same type of cards coming up even though i do shuffle i read these for other signs the cards don't always come up as the same so just you know just know that for you i really feel like your energy is going to be very um, it's going to be very steady for you. Okay, let's see. This card is reversed. Here is the Knight of Fire. Here is your energy. Passionate, adventurous, self-assured, restless. This is a sudden event that needs immediate attention. Time is of the essence. Think things through carefully. So again, I really feel that what we were talking about, you know, before, about you being very objective and you looking at the situation, I can almost see you not necessarily as the knight of fire, but I can see you almost as the king, you know, um, just viewing your lambs, okay? Now, if you're a female, you can be the queen, emperor, empress, whatever you want. But I feel like you're kind of like, like, you know, at least for this this coming up, it's like you're, you're looking at your lambs and you're making sure that things are put in place, that, um, you know, you're looking over there and going, oh, some cows have gotten out of the pasture, pasture. Let's go get those put back, okay? Uh, and you start directing people. I know that that sounds, but that's how I feel your energy is going to be, at least for this Monday and Tuesday. It's like you 
you know, you're not getting, you know, that's the thing about being the king or the queen is generally people, they're not, you're not emotional, but yet you're looking at things and saying they need to be put in their right place. Okay, so let's see this last card, and this one is also reversed, the Knight of Air. Air is, of course, our Gemini, our Libra, and our Aquarius thoughts, Wi-Fi energy, okay? So this is intelligent, decisive, idealistic, tireless. Events that occur to you occur with great speed. Take time to carefully review your options, creative solutions. And again, so that we had that, we have two nights going on here, and we have think things through carefully, review your options, take time to carefully review, you know, review your options. So again, it's again, it's that step back. It's that step back. You might be seeing the turmoil. You know, you're up on the hill, you know, you're in your castle type of thing, or you're in the place of authority. You might see the turmoil going down there, and you might be like, okay, I see, you know, maybe I see this troop. <laughs> and I don't know, I see the king. I see this troop advancing, and I see this troop advancing. Okay, if this troop goes that way, you know, it'll be clear or whatever. You know what I mean? It's like you're going to, you, it's like you actually have this outside perspective and it actually will serve you well okay i hope that makes sense it because it i can actually see it in my head i can see it in my mind's eye and it's like you have this outside perspective and you're you know you're keeping the emotion limited it's not that you're not feeling it you know because you do you do have very strong feelings it's not but it's like no we got to put that aside because this has to be handled so whatever it is that has to be handled, you're going to be looking at it very objectively. Okay? Okay. Actually, it I really feel good about your month. I feel good about your month. Yeah, we all have life. And remember, just because your month might be going good, somebody else's might not. Okay? And they tend to get involved and they, they kind of irritate our plans. So, oh well. So my Aries, as always, know that you are loved and be blessed. Bye-bye.